Hey guys! Um, normally I would be all happy and perky and like, hi, how are you doing? But uh, first I want to say that I've been struggling with whether or not to make this a video. Because I know a lot of people will make videos like this for views or money or whatever. And that is not what this video is about. This video is strictly a mother's perspective. Um on the recent tragedy that has happened. Um, it's honestly, it's, it's got me depressed. It's, I'm heartbroken over this. Um, it wasn't my child, but I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for the child. I'm heartbroken for the parents. As a mom, I cannot even imagine what the mother or the father is going through right now. <clears throat> so first I want to give my condolences to family that has lost a child I can't imagine what it must feel like and I don't want to imagine it and there's a few things I want to address in this video and those are some of the comments that I've been reading on these articles that people have been leaving are just so mortifying and so horrible that you We'll address those first. first. I just first though, I want to just give my condolences to the family. I want to say I am so sorry for your loss. I can't imagine losing a child. I can't imagine losing my two-year-old son. I have a two-year-old. I have five children. It breaks my heart. I've hardly, you know, I've tried not to read about this and I might cry a little bit because it just the thought process that I have is just like, what, what was the child thinking? What were the parents thinking? I just can't imagine not being able to save my child. And I feel so bad for these parents. And they are under attack by a lot of people that are like, oh, I would never let my child. I would never let my child. <clears throat> Accidents happen every day. And... I read so many bad comments. There are comments asking, well, what were you doing out that late at night on the beach? Well, I've been to Disney. In fact, I've stayed at the Grand Floridian and they have the lagoon there and um, off the lagoon is a sandy beach area and they have a movie that they show, I think once a week or every night, I'm not quite sure. Um, so that is what they were doing on the beach. They were there to watch a movie. They weren't there just to swim in the water and take their two-year-old in the water. So to answer your guys' questions about what they were doing out there, that's what they were doing out there. You know, they probably thought it was harmless to let their son stand in a foot of water. Or however, you know, he wasn't swimming and... It just now is not the time to point fingers at people. That's one thing I cannot stand is when parents or any or non-parents even that's the worst point fingers at a parent for being such a bad parent for letting something so horrible happen to their child. Do you not think that they're not beating themselves up over this? I'll tell you right now, those parents are blaming themselves. They are blaming themselves, and. Probably the what if is in their head too. What if we didn't go on the beach? What if, what if? It breaks my heart for this family. They had, I, I don't know. I saw in the media three children and everybody keeps telling me it's two. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. They lost a child and I'm sorry, I don't think they're bad parents. They're not bad parents. They're parents who made a mistake, you know, an honest to goodness mistake. You know, you go to Disney World and you don't think, oh, there's alligators in the water. I mean, unless you know Florida, unless, you know what I mean? I just, you don't think of that when you're at Disney. You don't think of there's danger. You don't. Disney's a magical place. You don't think, oh, my kid can get hurt or killed here. You don't think that. 
um, I have been on that very beach because I stayed at the Floridian and I know exactly where it happened and I can't imagine the fight to save that child. I can't imagine jumping in the water. I just, I've been struggling to make this video. You guys, you don't need to give mean comments to these parents. You don't think they don't see them. These parents see the comments and you want to know what? They don't need your mean comments attacking them when they're already attacking themselves. They are blaming themselves. I guarantee you 100% they are blaming themselves for the death of their child. I just, I feel really bad for these parents. As a mother, I have a two-year-old son, Oliver. And that's how old this boy was. And I just look at my son and how small he is and think, wow, that was the size of this child. I can't imagine what the child must be thinking. You know, what was the child thinking when he was being dragged into the water with, by the alligator? You know what I think? I think the child wanted his mom. That's, I know, <sighs> I think that's what breaks my heart the most is knowing the fear the child was in. <sighs> he was a very adorable child. I just saw his picture today <sighs> and he was a very adorable child. <sighs> just, I mean, you got to think before you... Say, oh, what were you thinking? You're a bad parent. You think, if you're a parent, do you think you're perfect? That your child never gets hurt or anything? Do you really think you're perfect? You need to ask yourself that because if you do, then you're probably not the greatest parent. And I'm not trying to be mean, but if you think you're perfect as a parent, everybody, you know, Everybody makes mistakes. Parents especially make mistakes. I'm not a perfect parent. I'm far from it. Um, but it's situations like this that open our eyes and they, it like makes me like want to hold my kids closer and not let them do anything, you know, but you can't, you can't do that. I just want to say sorry to the family. I also want to apologize to them for all the mean and hate hateful comments that they're getting. It's not the parents' fault. They didn't know. Yes, there were signs up that said no swimming. But I don't think that the parents thought if my son is in a foot of water or less, that something like that was going to happen. I honestly don't think they would have even let him near it. But father and mother fought tooth and nail trying to get their son. So, I mean, we really need to think before we start sending out hate. We need to send out prayers and love for this family. And I want this family to know that our family is praying for you guys. Coming from a mother, I am so sorry. I can't imagine the pain you're going through. You guys are in our thoughts and our prayers. And accidents happen, and I don't want you to beat yourself up. This is not your fault. Things like this can happen, and I just don't want you to beat yourself up over this. And I, it's not your fault. You guys, hold your children tight. Love them every day. So I'm going to go. My thoughts and prayers are with the family. Just hold your children here.